All right, all my lovely people of YouTube, I have my passcode for storage unit two. That is right here. They have the blue lock on it, the blue lock special. Um, this is storage unit one. This is just garbage. We did, I don't know if I mentioned we found this. It is cast iron. Uh, it's a nice little bank there. Uh, at least that's what our doorstop. Uh, but all the metal is out of this corner. All we have left is to move all this furniture, but that'll be the last stop of today. Uh, I won't include that in the video just because who wants to watch me move a bunch of furniture, but nothing left there. I gotta remember what the code was for this. Uh, I did pay $60 for this unit, so hopefully it's a good one. We will see. They give you the code when you buy it. Uh, this is a, a unit that I bought online, so uh, that's why I have a code. All right, 60 bucks. Let's uh, let's see if uh, see if we struck gold. Bam. So right off the bat, I thought maybe since this is only two units down, it belonged to the same person, but. I don't know until I actually go through the stuff. What I did like about this unit, we had a nice bike right up front. Don't really know much about it. It is a Huffy Textra Light. Looks very expensive, but I uh, I don't know. Uh, bunch of boxes, as you guys see. I will get better light in here so you can see what's actually here. But hopefully we did all right. We'll, uh, we'll see. What the heck is that? Is that an accordion? Top to a cord in more cassettes. This could be the same owner. We will see. It's definitely the same. Is it country? It's country gospel. Can you drop? I'm trying not to lose a hand grabbing this guy. Oh, that's serious. That's nice. Oh, it's got a name on it too, if you can read it. Can you read it? It's upside down for me. I see sun, that's all I see. That's a little. Which cast iron kid? Yeah. Willie Nelson? No. What? Willie Nelson? <laughs> can you imagine if it is? No, nah, something in sun, you're right. I can't tell. With a magnifying glass. Uh, cassettes, homemade cassettes. That's a what? Bedside bench says holiday decorations. More cardboard boxes. Huh. Yeah, I thought that was on that side. So More cassettes. Oh, what? I see more. I'll take that out. More cassettes. One of the Hot Wheels cars is a red line. It's not. Enzo Ferrari. I get to this corner. Look at that. What does that say? I can't tell. Uh, for 
A whole box of them. That goes straight to recycling. Yep. More paper product. One vintage tin back here. sorts of Christmas, fake Christmas decorations, and fake, man, not my, those are like, no, they might be candles. Oh, no, they're, yeah, those are older. We got some 80s, 90s Christmas. Tin, tin I think, is clear to what's in there. Miller's pretzel. Very common around here, probably not very common everywhere else because I think it's an Allentown tin. It is, it says Allentown, Pennsylvania. Has to go to the other unit. It Found a cash box in the back corner. No cash, that's like a legit cash box. Wow. Nope, nothing in there. So sad. Everything's very rusty back here also. I don't know if there's a moisture issue. Oh, there's my light. I'm like, look at where my light is. Not good for videography if it's facing a box. Wanna see what could be a neat shirt? Go ahead. That's a dog. <laughs> I mean I thought it was like Willie Nelson. Is that a golden retriever? So right now, the objective of the unit is to try to remove all the metal. And since you guys know I've been trying to combine this with another day, it's just pretty much the second day of doing these units, we're taking out all the metal right now. So uh, you guys and us have only seen what's in this corner. All this stuff back there we haven't gone through. They're just pulling out metal in the back. Anything uh, there? A deep fryer. Deep fryer. This cash box, as we know, had nothing. I mean, it's a decent cash box if you need a cash box, but it's all rusty, so it's not, the sellable value on it is not worth the space. Star Trek. Yeah, for a computer. Huh. Let's see what's in this bad boy. Let me close. Nothing too crazy in this one. Nothing crazy at all. Alright, so we got another 
mystery bag here. Handful of items. Star Trek Voyager. Another Star Trek Voyager. That is just a picture frame. Old CDs. This whole thing is actually socks. Never would have thought that. It's a whole thing of socks. It's got to be a hundred and fifty pairs of socks. Big logo on the back. So clean out the second unit, still going through it. Um, made a run to the scrapyard. That was kind of the last thing. I think I documented prior to maybe one box or so in here. Uh, I got $49 uh, for scrap between some dirty aluminum, insulated wire, Christmas lights, steel. There's about $33 in steel between both units. Obviously, there's still going to be some metal here, but uh, almost paid for one unit just on the scrap metal alone. Uh, but now we're bagging up all the donations and the uh, the cardboard that's in here to make a run to the recycling place. So still digging through boxes, but you guys see the deal. These are good. Whole box of them, it looks like. Yep. And I don't think one's even missing. That's probably like $10 or so at the store. Christmas lights. to another mystery box. Close. Uh. Those are probably still good. Those are hard as a rock. Okay. Turkish taffy. Banana Turkish taffy. Turkish taffy. Some of those like frozen like candy canes and stuff. Mike and Ike's Berry Blast. Not the empty box. What's really crazy about this unit is keep finding manuals and maps. Of all Super Nintendo and Nintendo and all the good gaming systems that everyone craves about. And out of both units, we haven't found one system and we haven't found one game. It, it, it blows my mind how there can be so many manuals, but there's not one game in either unit. And they're owned by the same person. 
kind of concluded that. So that is, uh, it's crazy. Uh, these manuals aren't for sale, uh, so they're going to a collection. But really cool. I just want to make note that there isn't, uh, there, there, well, we haven't found any. What? Did you find it? No, but it's something else neat. Uh oh. Something else little, neat. Yeah, in the blue coat. Something else that I think. I mean, I just took a quick peek. Um, Are they older? Oh, they're not. They're plastic. Darn it. <laughs> I get too excited. <laughs> Is there any money in them? Nope. Empty. Empty. Oh, I thought they were like, cast iron. No. <laughs> I just couldn't look when I saw it, and then I thought, oh, I have to tell you. Slice-o-matic. I feel like everyone needs a slice-o-matic. Sort of stuck. The Bagler. Wow. So a lot of people like to make um, assumptions on these units and what kind of happened to the people. Um, usually I just kind of like, I, I don't know. Uh, I wouldn't really address like the whole sentimental value, but this is, uh, unfortunately the person passed away and they have no, uh, no relatives in the area. So I don't know if they put this in here and then passed away or their estate got put in here um, after they passed away. Uh, so for all this stuff, it's not really an eviction clean out, so to speak, regardless of the outcome. It's more of like, this is just the contents of the home. Um, whether it be contents of someone else's home that they put in here, uh, in terms of, you know, the person was living, they put stuff that they've accumulated, friends have given them and they just store it in here, or it's of the, you know, the person who is now deceased. Uh, so that's kind of like the background on this unit. It, uh. It's not an eviction unit like the last, well, probably like two or three videos I did ago uh, on storage units. So a lot of this stuff is getting donated. We, uh, we found probably about two garbage bags worth of actual usable clothes, but this is all going to go for a donation run now. There still managed to be furniture in this unit. Uh, we have some research to do it with all these. Keep something in now. So no Pyrex. That was interesting. I did find corning there, but no Pyrex. All right. Well. We still have about another 20 minutes to go, or <laughs> about two hours to go, I should say, finishing up this job, but uh, it's dark outside. This is current progress. Uh, we guys have pretty much seen everything in the, the unit. Um, the next clip will be it completely cleared out. This is giving me nightmares, because if you know, you know. If you don't know, make sure to subscribe to the channel, because this, uh, this kind of made me salty. Probably about two months ago, I would say three months ago. Actually, I think it was in November, so whenever that would be. But um, yeah, almost finished. And all the furniture on the other unit is almost finished. We are on to the last van load. It has been a whirlwind of a day, an awesome storage unit. If you guys didn't check out the first video, I do have a video also on the first storage unit that actually went to this unit. Um, I'm starting to wonder even if this middle one belonged to the same owner. Uh, it'd be weird that they would divide them up like over here and then over there and not put them together, but you know how it is. It's, it's, you, sometimes you can't get the way you want it. So, yeah, stay tuned. The, uh, the unit's almost done. And just like magic, it's all disappeared. Everything is gone. Now this unit, and then like I said, I would promise you the other unit. It's all gone. All right, everyone, so I just made it back home. It's been a very, very long day, but it's been a fun day. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this wonderful treasure hunt. It's always a blast to do these uh, 
these storage units are definitely a lot of fun and uh yeah both storage units are now cleaned out completely i know there was definitely a week between the last storage unit videos and uh today's storage unit video uh, in, in terms of posting but it's been all recorded within 48 hours and uh actually probably yeah about 30 hours i should say but it's been fun if you guys uh enjoyed it definitely uh hit that like button and make sure to subscribe down below i'll be posting a bunch more storage unit videos throughout all the year uh and hopefully you're going to find a bunch of more cool things so thanks for coming along subscribe down below for more treasure hunts catch you guys next time next venture until next time have a great day keep living the dream peace <laughs>